A thousand Americans are diagnosed every day with Alzheimer's disease, and some people are getting it in their early 30s. Yeah, tonight experts say we're not that far off from some real progress that could give all of us the option of unlocking an early diagnosis to start taking action. Nicole Kreitz continues her Life with Alzheimer's series. Pause, freeze. Okay, let's go. Tyler Demo teaches fifth grade at Palm Lane Elementary in Phoenix. Jasmine, you want to hold the door? He's passionate. 12 over 12 makes one hole. I want these kids to just be able to learn as much as they possibly can. And motivated by something you wouldn't suspect. Knowing that I may forget all that I remember, um, I feel like I work even harder. His family has a particularly rare genetic mutation that causes early onset Alzheimer's to set in as young as your 30s. Tyler is 27. I guess you, you're never really taught how to deal with something like this. His dad and all but one of his aunts and uncles have it. Half their kids will get it, and so will half of their kids. Out of my family, whoever has been diagnosed with this gene mutation, um, no one has lived past the age of 60. Tyler's been tested but has no desire to know the results. It affects uh, so many aspects of, of their lives, whether they are going to be employed, whether they can date and marry. Um, and then there's the sense that, well, what can I do about it anyway? So let me just live my life. Dr. Pierre Theriot with Banner Alzheimer's Institute is working on a study of another family 3,000 miles away in South America. You know, it's, it's, it's this accidental laboratory. We're treating people as young as age 30 to try to stave off Alzheimer's disease. A cluster of 300 people from the same family line here in Medellin, Colombia, have the very same genetic mutation as Tyler's family. And if we're lucky and we show that we can do that, that affords hope to everybody who carries these mutations, but also some hope for the rest of us. With no cure and no new treatments in more than a decade, the focus now is detection and prevention. Nearly 200 75,000 people have signed up for the Alzheimer's Prevention Registry started here at Banner Alzheimer's Institute. About 13% have agreed to be tested for something different than Tyler's family. They're looking for a far more common variant that gives you a two out of three chance of developing Alzheimer's later in life. Every adult in the world who wants to know her or his genetic vulnerability for Alzheimer's disease could choose to be tested. So, and that's that's not that far off. We could have answers in four to five years. Time is something that I do not take for granted. This book, The Inheritance, a family on the front lines of the battle against Alzheimer's disease, is based on Tyler's family tree. We opened our lives to share this story. Tyler says he'll be ready to see his results once he settles down. For now, he's single, and these are his only kids. Find the common common denominator. So he's so doing his very common. best to keep them so learning three, and four. living in the moment what like he is. Make the most out of all the time that you can that you still have left. Nicole Kreitz, 3TV.